okay for uh, deployment we need to connect this uh, repository with our digital ocean right so let's go here and uh, let's open this deployment via git so here it will ask you to generate the ssh keys so basically these are the validation keys where you don't need to enter the password you need to match the ssh key with your repository so here i'm going to generate the ssh key and then add this into the my repository i will also completely explain it step by step how you can connect to your github so don't worry it's very easy so just click on this generate ssh okay fetching the data okay here you can click on this view ssh key so it will show you the ssh key and here from the top you can copy this ssh key okay i copied this key and you can also click on this download and this will be downloaded in the text file right this one okay now just go to your repository and here you need to uh, uh, become the owner of your repository and you need to click on this setting so it's mean that you can manage your repository just click on this uh, setting if you created your own repository it means that you are owner of this repository okay uh, i will click on this setting and after this setting you need to click on this deploy keys on the left sidebar so just click on this and yes here you can add your deploy keys so i already added these two ones right so i'm not going to uh, play around with this one i'm going to create a new key click on this add uh, deploy key and here you need to set up the title right i'm going to make this a uh, uh, cloud server ssh key and then paste of what you have copied from the digital ocean paste this stuff okay and click on this add i'm not going to add this uh, right to um, access you just click on this add key okay uh, this one is now added and it's uh, not green right now right because it couldn't be authenticated so when we will perform our operation and add uh, the git uh, get into uh, connect with the cloud server so it will be automatically marked as green as above right okay uh, just go here and now we need to put here our ssh remote url of our repository so how we can get this so simply go back here uh, click on this code okay and here just click on this code button right and make sure to not copy this https you need to copy the ssh so click on this ssh and uh, click on this copy and it's copied go back here and paste your uh, URL here okay uh, I added this and now you need to click on this authenticate so it will basically uh, go to the our repository and check that it's uh, contain the RSS key or not right uh, if you will uh, make this uh, different SSH key so it wouldn't be able to authenticate this right so for this you need to uh, add the correct key as I added it here okay uh, just click on this authenticate authenticating git wait for a minute it's uh, fetching data and yes it's fetch the data so here you need to choose your branch so in this case if i open this here click on this code so i have only main branch right so it will show you all of the branches here from which branch you want to deploy your code so just click on this main right because i have only main and then where you want to deploy so i have this uh, public slash html so you can do it from different one like if you have another directory here another slash another more like this and then so on right but i have this uh, public html i want to deploy it inside this public html so that's why i'm going to uh, click on this deployment so click on it start deployment in progress and it's so uh, it wouldn't take too long it's so uh, will be done in few seconds okay fetching data repository cloned successfully right so we are successfully able to clone this repository 
right okay now how we can make sure that our application is there or not so just click on this so uh, uh, here access level right i'm going to basically uh, go to my application uh, ssh right so for this uh, accessing the ssh you need to install the party right if you are on the windows you need to install the party right uh, so if you are in the different to uh, operating system so you can search this which which works for you okay so here you can simply insert this party here download party okay it's a small software so here you can click on this download you can download the ss client 64 bit click on the installer or you have a lot of versions so you can install whatever suits you so by default you can install the uh, just go back here download party you can install any of the one work just click on this it will download this party wait for a moment uh, okay yes it's now in progress so i'm going to pause this because i, I have already uh, downloaded this party after the downloading the installation process is very simple you need to go to the click on the next x and this will be installed so here i have installed this party app just click on this and it will open the party interface so here you need to pull this public ip copy this and add this ip here right and then you need to click on this open it will ask you to enter your username and password so i have this username so just click on this copy uh, enter this and it's now asking you to enter your password so i have this password so you can also click on this so i icon to show the password i'm not going to show the password so i'm doing this uh, i'm hiding this for the security purposes so i'm just clicking on this copy password okay and uh, then just go back and paste your password i pasted this password when you will uh, enter the password it wouldn't be visible so it's a security feature that's set click on this and yes it's asking me that i'm logged in right i'm in the public slash html slash public so here if uh, no i'm in the public slash html right so if i uh, type ls to uh, display all of the files and folder and yes i have my application inside it right and now here uh, what else we need we need to install the composer we need to generate the key we need to copy the env file from the env.examples and so on things right so i will do these things in the next video right so i'm going to shoot this step by step series and it's a premium course right i'm shooting this free of cost for those who don't afford the premium course so if you want to support me on my mission to shoot the premium course free of cost subscribe this channel and share it with your friends i will meet you in the next one thank you